All right, guys, so we're gonna check out Waves right here on deck five. Let's see if the food's good. How y'all doing? All night long. All night. All night. All right, I took that too far, my bad. All right, I got two options. Either I can sit here, or I can sit in the special seat right here. Which one you think? I can sit there, I'll fit. So just so you guys know, Waves is technically a specialty restaurant. However, it is not an additional upcharge unless you buy some type of specialty wine or something of that nature. But uh, either way, I still kind of counted. I want to see what the food is actually like here. Now given, I didn't exactly go to the steakhouse here on board or the sushi spot. I thought about it, but I'm also sailing alone and I, I don't have a lot of money. I'm broke. So here I am. Mm. Uh, love me some Jack and Coke. I'm a simple man. And oh, by the way, I'm not sure if this just applies to the complimentary dining options here on board or if it's all the restaurants, but for some reason here on the last day and it's a sea day, they close relatively early. This restaurant closes at 8.45 p.m. Now, I just got here oh, about 10, 20 minutes ago, and uh, yeah, I was kind of that guy. I ended up being late, but it's kind of my fault as well because I didn't look at the hours. But I still think that's kind of early for dining options, especially considering everybody's here on board the ship and we're not in a port of call. All right, let's see. Hmm, okay. I get it now. So here's the deal. I have sampled a couple different restaurants while on board this ship, the buffet, and now of course Waves. And to be honest with you, the food's not bad, okay? It's, it's not horrible like the rumors say. Now, could it use some work? Yeah. Heck yeah. I'll tell you why. I think for one, when you think about it, MSC is an Italian cruise line, right? So people put the standard for the food naturally up there. It's among some of the best food in the world coming from places like Italy and then of course you got France and all over in those areas over in Europe. We expect the food to be fire, bomb, amazing, immaculate. So when you don't get that, well, you see what we got here. The problem with the food here at MSC, and this is after sampling a couple of different destinations and different restaurants, it tastes kind of bland. It's like they were afraid to even put salt and pepper on the food. And the household I grew up in, man, when we had our fried chicken, mashed potatoes and collard greens, we, put, we, we at least put the basics of seasoning on our food and they won't even do that. Now I get it, it's a fine line with restaurants because people are touchy about their seasonings and, and condiments and what goes on there, but uh, they gotta do better. Don't be afraid, MSC. Just, you know, put a little bit of, you know, a little bam on there, why not? That's, that's all I got to say. It's the seasoning, not the fact that the food is bad. All right, that is enough. I gotta be honest about MSC because since I've been here and even prior when I booked my cruise, it's either been a mess or things have been extremely confusing.